Let's see it. See, that doesn't sound like a very clean sound, as opposed to this, which does. I mean, I'm not sure if you can hear this right now, but um, maybe my volume's not high enough, but that's what, that's what it is. I'll, I'll raise my volume a little bit more. That's the that's the good slow mo, and that, now we'll listen to this one more time. And you don't want that sound. That's like robotic and ugly. So, um, some s somebody wants to know how to do the agony blur. I know I wanted to when I saw it, um, and I kind of just taught myself. So, what you're gonna want to do, and you can you can obviously use Twixter also, like I said. Um, you can just drop that on the clip, then just pull it out. You don't need to do the control, but you're uh, you're gonna want to take the audio out. So you're gonna want to take you want to drop it on the slow mo. I mean, you don't want to drop it on the slow. -mo. You don't want to slow mo it before, but I'm just doing this for time purposes. You just want to drag it out. You don't want to use the control. You want to take out the audio, and then it's just a nice, clean, smooth twixter. Um, so yeah, but you don't want to slow mo it. Okay, so. Uh, you can just download that as a plugin. All these stuff, most of this stuff, you know, is is gonna be in your Vegas, but some of it is not. You're just gonna have to download it. Like there's new blue and stuff. Now um, we're gonna do Gaussian blur first. So Gaussian blur. What you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to just drop medium blur in there. There's a lot of keyframing in Vegas. Um, so you know you're gonna want to go back to the beginning of the clip. You're gonna want to you know do that. You're going to want to reset it to, to none. And then right when you want to blur it, let's say you want to blur it here. You're going to drop a keyframe, and then you're going to drop another keyframe right next to it where you want to blur it. And then you raise the blur back up. And um, and then you're going to come over here to where you want the blur to stop, put a keyframe down, then reset to none. And it's going to... Uh, you can mess around with the blur a little bit, but it's, uh, it's going to... Um, it's just gonna fade out. So you can do that like in the middle of your clip, or you can do this, which is one of my personal favorites that I learned very recently. Um, you can do um, let's see, where where is it? I think yeah, it's saturation adjust. You can go to saturation adjust and make your own preset. I have um, these two, I have uh, regular CC and low E dark, and the reason I call it low E dark is because uh, you know, Phase Lowy and Reaps use this um, all the time. Um, so you're going to come over here and you're going to. Well, I guess we'll go to a different clip. Hold on. Because uh, I don't really want to mess with these right now. You know, if you make a mistake, you can always go edit, undo, and uh, you don't have to restart the whole project again. But I'd, I recommend saving just in case your Vegas uh, crashes. Just save pretty recently. Okay, or pretty uh, frequently, is what I'm trying to say. So let's say you want to just start just fading here. So you're going to put a keyframe down. You're going to put another keyframe down. You're going to go low E dark, which is these, you know, these kind of settings. And then you're going to want to come back out here. And you're going to want to make regular CC. It's a really cool effect. I really like it. You know, it just kind of... It's it's awesome. It just kind of reminds me of the Reaps days. So, which were the best? Cause uh, it showed skill instead of looking at the bottom of the screen. Okay, so new blue split bleh, spin blur. I use this a lot for transitions. Um, I, I'm gonna I need to show you how to use transitions first though. Okay, so here let's move this out of the way and let's put this in. So what you're gonna want to do is you can drag this clip into the other one. Now this what this is going to do, you're going to see this. This is going to create a crossfade. Now this is the probably the cleanest transition. It's just going to fade right into the other one. Or you can do this. You can fade. You can just drag the the top of the clip and you can fade. It's going to see it's going to just fade here and you can fade in too. So you can do either one, and there's an option of transitions right here. You can mess around with those if you want. And um, a linear wipe is one of my favorites. It's just you go to you're gonna you're gonna get rid of these fades. Then you're just gonna crossfade it in, and then drop it right on top of the crossfade. 
and you're going to see this, and you're going to want to, like I said, you're going to want to do this so you can play it. So you can see the play button. And you're going to see right here, There, it's, it's kind of, it's sharp, so you want to feather it a little bit. You can do that. Um, or you can do pushes, or which are the same thing, really. You can do a lot of different stuff with the transitions. Um, but what I like to do is, um, oh, I need to get rid of the, this linear, linear wipe. And uh, what I like to do is New Blue Spin Blur. Uh, spin blur you have to download this. Um, you know, the answer to YouTube is YouTube. It's going to be all on YouTube. Just add and just look up how to download, blah, blah, blah. And it should be there. Now, you're going to see this. You're going to see a new blue FX watermark. Now, don't be worried. Um, this is going to go away when you render it, I promise. Um, so, it's going to come down to here. And um, what you're going to want to do is here. Let's get rid of this saturation adjust. I think that's kind of messing us up. Yep, okay. So, um, so what you're going to want to do is you're just gonna see this and it's gonna it's gonna kind of spin in now to you know you obviously want to fade this out at some point so you re you drop a keyframe down and then you you reset the spin to zero and you can kind of adjust how much spin you want like you can you can drag it out if that's not enough spin for you and it'll give you more spin so you can you can really do whatever you want with this thing it's it's really neat um, so we're gonna we're gonna uh, take that out and um, another one. But here's if you if you get like a kill chain or something, go to New Blue Earthquake and let's say your kill your kill chain is the the light up on that wall. Um, and so what you want to do is you just want to I guess you big one. You can obviously mess around with the settings of these guys, um, but then you're just gonna want to you know drop your keyframe. Or whatever, you're just gonna want to drop your keyframes there and down in place, and you're gonna want to click pan crop. Um, and then what you do is you just drag this up, and you can drag it in, and uh, you can click off these two too to mess it around. You know, you get a cool little effect. Okay, so. That's it pretty much for the editing tutorial. I'm not an editor, uh, like I said. Uh, you can obviously mess around with a bunch of these and um, just have fun with it. And, um, yeah, I hope to see you guys later. I hope this was very helpful. And uh, later.